Good evening. I'm Stuart Watchman, ZL2TW from Blenheim. And I'm Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL in Upper Hutt. I'm Rosemary Bosher, ZL1RO in Auckland. And I'm Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG from Christchurch. And I'm Jim Meacham, ZL2BHF in Nelson. And together we bring you the NZART official broadcast for February 2016. Leading tonight's official broadcast is presidential comment. Here's our NZART president, Stuart Watchman, ZL2TW. Stuart? Good evening, everybody. I trust that most of you have been able to have an enjoyable holiday season, which perhaps you made more fun by combining your break with some amateur radio activity. Tonight, it is with sadness that I note that NZRT past president and my friend Bruce Douglas, ZL2WP, died suddenly recently. I served on council with Bruce from 2005 until 2009 and was his vice president from 2007 to 2009. Thank you, Jim, for the item that you have prepared on Bruce for tonight's broadcast. I am very pleased to say that the Rotorua Amateur Radio Club, Branch 33, have very kindly offered to host the 2017 NZART AGM and conference. It has been some time since Rotorua hosted this, and I know it will be an event to look forward to. Much closer, of course, is this year's conference in Christchurch. I am sure this will be an event not to be missed. Last week, I attended a Mission Critical Communications conference in Wellington. This was a two-day event held at Te Papa. Speakers came from a wide area, including a major telco, through to start-up companies, local bodies and government departments. Richard Smart, at L4FZ, made a presentation on the value of the volunteer in communications. Richard used the major contribution made by AREC during the aftermath of the February 2011 Christchurch earthquake as an example, to show how communications were supplied for the nearly 500 SAR personnel that performed the vital door-to-door search across South and Southeastern Christchurch. Thank you, Richard, for flying the flag so well for amateur radio. It was interesting to hear at the conference from an Australian speaker that developed a high-frequency digital speech system as a communication solution for electricity workers in remote rural Queensland. We, of course, know very well the value of simple HF for cheap, effective communications to remote areas with no infrastructure. I would like to thank Daniel Ayers at our one dfa who was also a speaker at the conference, for allowing me to attend using his complimentary speaker registration. I have received inquiries about how the Radio Spectrum Management Review of Repeaters and Beacons license fees is going. At this stage, the outcome of the review is still pending. As soon as the result is heard, it will be communicated to you as quickly as possible, along with any further action that NZRT may be taking if needed. Council has received offers of interest in the webmaster position. The vacancy for this was mentioned in a recent info line and will also be in the next edition of Breakin. It is looking likely that we will need a person or persons to manage the content of the website as well. This is much more of an editing and collating role that does not require the IT knowledge of the webmaster. The webmaster will be responsible for the nuts and bolts of the site, otherwise known as a content management system. Council would be very keen to hear from anyone who may be able to assist with either role. As I advised in the last edition of Breakin, we will be running a membership promotion with non-member amateurs receiving an offer to join NZRT for 2016 at a reduced rate. I know that some of our loyal members may see this as a little unfair that others receive this discount. I hope I can reassure those that feel that way by saying that these promotions are not new and they do work. Many that have been attracted by them in the past have remained becoming loyal members themselves, myself included. I have no doubt that our current membership number would be significantly lower if it were not for past promotions. Finally, by the time you are hearing this broadcast, the Jock White Field Day will be over for another year. I trust that, like me, many of you enjoyed making use of our radio spectrum during this event. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Stuart. The president of NZART, Stuart Watchman, ZL2TW. Tonight, a tribute to NZART past president, vice president and councillor, Bruce Douglas, ZL2WP, who fell silent key suddenly on Saturday the 13th of February. Bruce was born in Dunedin in October 1941. 
He was educated at Dunedin's King's High School, then proceeded to Otago University, from where he graduated in 1967 with a law degree. Professionally, he worked as a lawyer in a medium-sized legal firm in Lower Hutt. He was a published author of professional texts and had held several company directorships. He had also, for many years, been the chairman of trustees of a large superannuation fund. Bruce joined NZART in his high school years, the 1950s, as a listener member, ZL413, but it was not until about 1992, when his son Andrew decided to sit for his amateur radio license, that Bruce decided to get his ticket as well. He succeeded and was licensed as ZL2WLD, and later became ZL2WP. Over the years, Bruce dabbled in a number of areas of amateur radio that were of particular interest to him. He joined his local branch, Hutt Valley Branch 18, and served terms as a committee member, treasurer, and repeater trustee. He held the office of Branch 18 president for a record eight consecutive terms, from 1996 through till 2004. At national level, Bruce served as a returning officer for NZART and was a valued member of the NZART Business Management Subcommittee. Elected to NZRT Council in June 2001, Bruce served two terms as a councillor for the Central Electoral District, also two terms as the NZRT Vice President. Bruce at L2WP became NZRT president at the New Plymouth Conference in June 2005 and was our president for two terms, stepping down at Hawke's Bay Conference in 2009. At this time, Bruce was very unwell and unable to attend the conference. The AGM was chaired by his vice president, Stuart ZL2TW. Bruce ZL2WP, as was his way, exited his presidency in a tidy fashion. The two audio clips that follow now demonstrate his style. While tempting to fold up one's tent and slip quietly off into the night, I simply could not conclude my eight years on council, including four years as president, without just a few words. It has been a privilege and honour to have had as travelling companions, members, officers and councillors, all clearly with the best interest of NZIRT at heart. Without such encouragement and ongoing support, no president could survive when things go pear-shaped. Well, members, thanks for the privilege, and I take my leave. 73, Bruce, Siddell 2WP. Those clips were taken from the audio CD that was produced for and played to the Hawke's Bay Conference AGM in 2009. Prior to his election as president in 2005, Bruce said L2WP said that he was not and never would be a technical man, but he did have the ability to listen and learn and to access the skills of others and, most importantly, to look at the big picture, and that he certainly had the desire to make a positive contribution to this great hobby of ours. He certainly did that. Bruce Douglas, NZRT past president, vice president and councillor, fell silent key on Saturday 13th of February 2016 at the age of 74. The association extends deepest sympathy to Bruce's wife Marilyn, son Andrew, daughter Fiona and their respective families. This is ZL6A. Onward to Upper Hutt now, and it's a very good evening to NZRT Business Manager, Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL. Thanks, Jim, and Happy New Year, everyone. So what's in store for 2016? Well, as you will have heard from Stuart, we are soon to commence a membership drive. So that hopefully will keep me busy for a wee while processing new membership forms. We are also fast approaching the annual conference to be held in Christchurch. With this in mind, branches and members need to be considering nominations for awards. Do you know of anyone who is worthy of Amateur of the Year or Life Membership to NZART? Perhaps you have some new young members in your branch that just need a little encouragement. So how about nominating them for Young Amateur of the Year? And of course, every branch has those stalwarts that without whom the branch would not exist. 
This is where you can recognise efforts by putting their names forward for the ZL1 HV Jumbo Godfrey Award. Nominations for all these awards need to be received here at HQ by the end of April. Finally, as a result of a suggestion by the NZART branch, the unofficial minutes of council are now uploaded to the web within a couple of days of the monthly meeting. If you would like to know what topics are being discussed by council, please refer to the council page on our website. Remember though, as they have yet to be approved at the following month's meeting of council. That's all from me, Jim. Talk again next month. Back to you. Thank you, Debbie. Debbie Morgan, ZL2DL, our NZART Business Manager. NZART Conference 2016, celebrating the 90th anniversary of NZART, is to be held in Christchurch over Queen's Birthday weekend, the 4th, 5th and 6th of June. Hosted by the Christchurch Region Branches 05, 56, 68 and CARDS, NZRT Conference 2016 is to be held at the Rickerton Park Function Centre, 156 Racecourse Road, Broomfield in Christchurch. An outline of the conference programme and alternative programme can be found on the conference webpage. That's at www.hamradio.co.nz www.hamradio.co.nz To ensure the best possible prices, now's the time to make your bookings for travel and for accommodation in Christchurch. Look for the conference registration form in your March-April copy of Break-In. It will also be on the conference webpage very soon. NZART Conference 2016 in Christchurch over Queen's Birthday Weekend. Onwards we go and it's time for Waro News. And a very good evening to Rosemary ZL1RO. Thanks Jim and hello everyone. All ladies are invited to get together during the Te Puki Radio Club's annual market day at Poangaroa on Saturday March the 5th. Meet in the usual room about 10.30am for morning tea and chat. Waro's do not have to be Waro members to attend this informal gathering. Come and spend some time with us while the OMs are bargain hunting. The Thelma Super Memorial Contest. It will not be happening this year, but we hope it will be up and running again for 2017. If you've changed your email address and have not told Treasurer Heather, ZL2TYF, would you please let her know so she can keep our records up to date. Our break-in page compilers are really desperate for items of interest, photos, and reports of YL activity for inclusion in the WARO page. Surely one or two of our members will respond to this call and send off a few lines. You'll find the address inside the front cover of any bulletin magazine. The Monday night WARO net controllers have noticed a reduced number of check-ins over recent months. Maybe this is because daylight saving keeps us outdoors for longer in the evenings, but please do try and remember to check in 80 metres, 3.695 on Monday nights at 20 hundred hours from time to time. NZART conference is being held in Christchurch this year and Waro intends to repeat the sales and raffle tables which were so successful at the Hamilton conference last year. We'll be looking for donations of craft items and goods suitable for inclusion in a raffle or for the sales table. And I'm mentioning this early so that members or others can start thinking about goods they might like to make and donate. I'll let you know later on where to send donated goods. That's all from Waro for this month, Jim. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Rosemary. Reporting for Waro, Rosemary Bosher, ZL1RO in Auckland. Saturday the 5th of March, yes, that's the date for the annual Tipuki Amateur Radio Club Junk Sale. The venue is the Paingaroa Community Hall, Old Coach Road, Paingaroa. The venue opens at 6.30am, with good food and hot breakfasts available from 7.30am. The radio sale, it commences at 10am. There'll be a waro get-together starting at 10.30am. Now table costs are $20 a table, or $25 on the day, or $12 for a half table, that'll cost you $15 on the day. Remember, motorhome parking is available. 
Now, if you can't find the venue, call on the 147.175 repeater or the D-Star 145.725 digital repeater. Now, for further information and table bookings, phone 7 or you can email sidro at extra.co.nz. Sidro, one word, Ro has an E, at extra.co.nz. That's the annual Tipuki Amateur Radio Club junk sale at Payangaroa next Saturday, the 5th of March. Finally, in tonight's official broadcast lineup, time for branch news. Here's Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the first Around the Branches segment for 2016. And it seems March is the month for, among other things, annual general meetings. Well, let's start off first with the Hibiscus Coast Radio Society, Branch 80 NZART, which has its annual general meeting on Wednesday the 9th of March, starting 7.30pm at the club rooms. Whangarei Branch 28 has its next meeting on Wednesday, March the 2nd, at the club rooms at Heritage Park in Whangarei. Gary Bolds at one an will make his annual visit to the branch, and his talk is always well received. North Shore Branch 29 NZART has its next radio licence class on the weekend of the 12th and 13th of March. There may still be places available, so if you know of anyone interested, please contact either Julian ZL1ABX by email jules underscore d at extra dot co dot nz or alternatively jim zl1bp by email jimmy l at extra dot co dot nz the western suburbs radio club branch 03 nzart has its next meeting on saturday the 19th of march starting 10 a.m alan zl1aml will give a lecture on the echo link repeater NZART Branch 33, the Rotorua Amateur Radio Club, has its annual general meeting in the evening of the 15th of March, followed by the normal meeting meeting night. Look in your club newsletter for further details. Just a note here about the Hawke's Bay Ham Fest, which is held on Friday, April the 8th and Saturday the 9th at the Nelson Park Cricket Pavilion in Napier. Now this is a fun day of ham radio organised by the Napier Amateur Radio Club. There'll be talks about D-Star Digital Radio, Summits on the Air, SSB Digital Voice, Microwatting and more. For updates, a direction map and more information about the event, have a look at the website at www.zl2gt.com. Wellington Amateur Radio Club, NZART Branch 50, has its annual general meeting on Tuesday the 15th of March at the Lutheran Church Hall in King Street, Newtown, starting at 7.30pm. Down to the South Island now, and Marlborough Branch 22 ends at ART, has their annual general meeting on the 10th of March. Again, see your newsletter for details. Also in the Marlborough Branch newsletter are details of the get-together of branches 22 Marlborough and 26 Nelson. The date is Saturday, March the 12th, and the venue is Carlook Domain and Hall in Rye Valley. Arrive any time after 10am. Lunch will be at 12.30pm. Bring along salad or a dessert to share, your own eating utensils and so on, perhaps a chair to sit on, sunscreen and hat, and togs if you're going to be game enough to get into the river. The hall will be open for the clubs on the Friday and Saturday nights for toilets if you want to camp overnight. And if you need more information, contact Topsy zl 2 ls from Nelson, or Grant ZL2BK from Marlborough Branch. And finally to Christchurch Branch 05, who have their next meeting on Wednesday the 2nd of March, starting 7.30pm at the club rooms at 5 Idris Road in Fendleton. The speaker for the night is Professor Jack Copeland, who will talk about the fascinating story behind encrypting and breaking RTTY signals in World War II, including Turin, Tunney, Colossus and all that. Well, that's all from me, Jim. Back to you. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen McNeil, ZL4HG, reporting from Christchurch. The next issue of NZART Headquarters Info Line, that's number 331, will be emailed next Friday, the 4th of March. The next official broadcast of NZART will be made by ZL6A at 8pm on Sunday, the 27th of March. This is ZL6A. Headquarters station of the New Zealand Association of Radio Transmitters, 
concluding the NZART official broadcast for February 2016. Good night, everyone. Good night now.